can see them now right in front of me. Hey guys, welcome to your waterproof video. Today, I want to take some photos of uh, owls in the forest. Um, it's kind of stopping to rain, which is good for me, I guess. The owls come out then, animals in general, also hiding from the rain. And then I maybe get some shots. Ooh. Got some camouflage. Um, yes, I, I'm glad to be home again, I'm glad to be in a local forest today, and that means I can show you what lives close to you, more close to me, but I hope can encourage you to go out and look for yourself. Last week we've been away maybe it's now already two weeks ago and we've been in a wildlife hide so if you want to check that out we also seen beavers uh, if you want to have the experience of wildlife hide check that video out and it took a while for me to get that video done sometimes it's just so much material that i get really exhausted with it and then it takes me longer to finish maybe i want to stay dry takes me longer to finish. I try to keep it up every week, but sometimes it doesn't work. It's raining too much. <laughs> um, why do I know that there are owls here? It's tawny owls. I hope I say that correctly, tawny owls. I've seen them already. I've seen the baby owls. At least not that much baby anymore. They get bigger and should now have left the nest. That's what I'm looking after. They stay around the nest normally, and Mother Owl still feeds them. Would be glad also if I see Mother Owl. Um, feeds them until they're big enough to do on their own, but they leave the nest. The zoological group here in southern Norway, they showed them off a bit, but they also mark them, so they have boxes for them to check on them, and then they show them also to the public. I think that's good to show nature, like show that off to children so that they understand how important this topic is to protect our nature. So we can discuss how stressful that is for the owls, but I think it serves a good cause. So that's how I know that they're here and I will do, give my best to find them today but I should also get some camouflage on. But it's still raining. Huh? The mosquitoes are just insane here. Glad the owls don't smell that good. see the box up there. First thing I do, I try to find a spot close to here, which is a bit higher, so that I get a good view on it. A bit afraid of the mosquitoes.
here get a clear shot, maybe. I hope at least. Let's head up. Camouflage here. As you might have seen, I brought some new, not new tripod, but new camouflage. I got some budget done. Um, I think it's really easy to get that, to just buy some camouflage tape and then I fix this. I think it looks kind of nice. Gives at least some camouflage. Mosquitoes are crazy. I have to use some repellent because I have some of an allergic reaction that I um, get like horns. It's not too bad, but it stays for some hours and I don't need that right now. As you can see, also camouflage on the long lens, just not on the zoom. But I think it's a good solution. There is camouflage for this lens, but yeah. But it's way more expensive than the tape. That's probably a bit better. D750. Not sure if it's raining or if it's just from the wind. But we're kind of sealed. Everything's fine. Everything's good. It's not bad. you might have known but I studied biology and in my bachelor's degree we had barn owls in our institute American barn owls so I've worked with these animals before and I really love them they can be really characteristic some clever some dumb all different sorts and I just grown to love them so I'm glad to know that there are owls out here living in the wild, not like our American barn owls. And they're just cool for many reasons. I mean, you can comment if you know, whew, those mosquitoes, if you know any other bird that has a face that is pointing at you with the eyes, that looks at you. Um, I can't make up any bird out of my mind right now. Owls have that which is just super cool, they're really pretty. And also, um, I'm gonna have blood on my face because of these mosquitoes sooner or later. Also, they hear really good and they see really good. I mean, for humans it is, we hear something, we direct our eyes to it to see the details. With owls, it's the other way around. They can hunt the mice in a dark room. They're nocturnal normally. So I may be a bit early, but I will spend some time on here. And um, so they're nocturnal and they can find everything in the dark. So an owl will look after something and then hear for the details. Oof! Incoming rain. 
and we'll look for the details. So I think that's kind of interesting that they do it the other way around. Really fascinating. I also wanted to tell you that I'm, I'm testing this camouflage now. Put the camouflage on my lenses. Got this small microphone because I'm planning on a bigger trip to Dovefjell for uh, at least eight or nine days. I want to go out, I want to shoot landscape, I want to camp in the wild. Haven't done that for some time, I got my tent. And... Um, there's something, but I don't think it's anything. So I have my tent and I just want to kind of go out, shoot some landscape. If I'm glad I might meet some uh, musk ox. There are other animals living there as well, like reindeer, wild living reindeer. I heard that's maybe the biggest one still in Europe. Maybe I can meet those. I will just be out and now this series will be called uh, After Horizons, my series for going out, for example, doing a bit more than just local forest photography. I will go by trains, so it's still not harming the nature, which I think is really good. And if you st have been up to date, I have a Horizon series already on my homepage, webpage, where you can read about puffins. And if it's not out yet, it's coming out in the next days or the next week, a video about them. It's short, so maybe just check it out. It's short and it has some amazing pictures of puffins. I really like them. It was not intended to work out like this, but it's... I'm impressed by myself at, for once. So maybe check it out um, and tell me what you think. You can have a look on my webpage and just go through it. Go through it and yeah, comment if you like. So that's coming soon. That's why I'm testing other gear, like this small microphone. It's not that the video, the Rode Video Microphone Plus, Pro Plus or whatever, is bad. It's really good. It's also light, but it takes more space. And it doesn't work on my mobile phone because I can't bring two cameras to Dover here. So that is just the news. And now we're gonna wait for some while. You can see their house, and I'm not sure if someone's still living in there, but we have to maybe look through the trees and maybe we find someone sitting there. I don't hear noises inside the house at least. It's a bit like all the mosquitoes in the whole forest are after me right now, or are here right now. Here with me, nowhere else. God, you get so skeptical if your repellent is actually proof. It's gonna save you.
I've seen the owl baby. It's over there in the forest and the trees. I have it on tape. So what I will do is, I guess I try to get closer over there. Small ones, they can fly now. I've seen it. I've seen it. But there's somewhere over there. Rough conditions. But I love that about wildlife photography, it just pushes you so much out of your comfort zone. If anyone sees me like this, it's gonna be funny. But I will go over there. We'll try to go up a bit the hill. Maybe saw the mother. Oh, I'm not completely sure. I have to be. Oh, I should be quieter. Quieter. I'll talk to you soon. I got a bit further. Problem is owls can see really good, but I mean I know that I'm here, but I think I can see it now. Okay, I can see it. I have to get a clear view. I think I have to shoot it handheld. Stabilization on here we go. If I get the landscape off, I'm really full of adrenaline. I'm super nervous. Often you start a video and you don't expect to see anything. I'm literally shivering with excitement and I make way too much noise. It's not gonna be easy. I have to climb here. I will tell you how it went. I'll go back, come back to you soon. Don't worry. stuff is changing and I try to be super quiet he's starting to yawn and it's super cute it's just insanely cute I will just have the record going and if he yawns again you will be taken by your affection for this animal I see why I love owls so much. 
now that maybe the, the brother is coming back as well so we're gonna see we're gonna see how that turns out oh no it's really nice there's some sun coming through the leaves it's gonna sit here i think i'll have to wait a bit i have to peep really quiet i'm breaking this bar all the time because I'm just so excited fully pumped with adrenaline now you have this nice sun coming through from the back Gonna try some portrait. Yeah, he's forgetting about me. Leaned his gaze a bit to the side. Foot is up. Morning. Just re gonna record him for a while. This is so super cute. <gasps> Something else is coming. Nice to see that they're all a bit different already. Like his brother on the photos, you will see he had less feathers here, and this one sit still sitting there has a really round head. really round head with the feathers. I'm just gonna record him a bit. Oh, I love it when they turn their head around. I just so... How do you say an animal that's high in its evolutionary state? These are so specialized. And they're so awesome. God, it's stretching itself and yawning. Oh, it's... I can't tell. I can't even tell. Now I kind of have the video material that I wanted beside the mom. This is I want to take the chance to say goodbye now. It's getting darker. Maybe Mama Owl is going to show up. And I will show you that if that happens. Oh, thank you so much for watching. Consider a like on this video. Subscribe if you haven't yet. 
maybe watch some other videos and I see you soon. Thanks for watching again, really appreciate it, bye.